Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is why they run the race. Nobody's unbeatable, nobody's unstoppable. So, crazy beginning in that one. NY traffic came out extremely uh, crooked. Uh, pretty much cuts off, runs into Honor AP, uh, drives Honor AP into Tiz the Lost, not really into him, but he did impede his path kind of in the beginning out there. Authentic came out smooth. Um, fractions were, were, were uh, pretty decent for Authentic. He went out there 46 and 2 in that opening half. Like I said, he needed to do. He's going to have to just go run his race and not try to pay attention to Tiz the Lost if he's going to be able to get this win. That is what he did. Um, Law made the move, was going after him, and Authentic hung in there. The time stayed solid, did the mile 135 flat. Uh, they ended up in, I think it was 201 and 2, uh, or sorry, uh, 2 minutes. Um, I have to look at that again. I think it was really like 2 and 4, or maybe 201 and 1. At any rate, Authentic comes away with this race. Now I'm going to say this right now. I still don't believe in track bias. He got a win in the Haskell. He did what he needed to do to win. And he ran faster this time. Still don't believe that he's just slower just because he was running there. Uh, plus he had a different jockey um, right here. Authentic riding with um, Johnny Velasquez, who I think has been slacking a little bit lately. But he needed to get his name uh, back on the map. Uh, he's kind of been overshadowed by guys like Mike Smith of recent. Uh, so Johnny Velasquez up there gets the win. Bob Baffert with another Derby winner. I know everybody's going to be looking for that drug test after this one to see uh, if Authentic comes up clean, um, especially based on the info that's come out on uh, Justified just recently. They're trying to take a Santa Anita away. Uh, so they're going to be looking for that. I think it was clean, clean race for Authentic. I mean, it was a bit of trouble in the front with NY traffic, but... Um, uh, that really didn't, uh, didn't to me, that didn't didn't affect the race too much. Tis the Law lost the race. I mean, he still ran a good time. Authentic ran faster. Um, and you could tell in that final stretch, you could see that uh, uh, Johnny Velasquez is just a better jockey than Manny Franco. Um, he was able to get more out of his horse in the stretch when he needed him. And uh, that's what the best jockeys can do. They can get their horse to do a little bit more than they uh, uh, typically do. So... Um, at any rate, uh, lucky me, because Thousand Words was scratched, I threw Authentic in there and had the exacta. Uh, so I didn't crap on on that end. But uh, it was a bit disappointing to see Tis the Law lose. I kind of, you know, had, had the hopes for this horse. Uh, maybe able to get that record, but he, he wasn't able to run fast enough, wasn't even able to get the win. So Tis the Law was second. Um, third place, the horse that messed up my uh, Superfecta, uh, Mr. Big News. I mean, I don't know who in the world bet on that horse. I don't know anybody that liked him. He closed hard, uh, ran in third there, and so, like I said, he messed up the uh, super I would have had. Honor P uh, ran fourth, and um, Max Player was in there for fifth. So there we have it, another Kentucky Derby in the books, thankfully with no shenanigans like there was last year. Um, no Triple Crown winner this year, once again. Tizzle Law is still going to have his work cut out for him. He's, he, I think he's to still run the Preakness. Um, he's still got the Breeders' Cup to run in, Jockey Club Gold Cup. Uh, so we'll see what they do um, with Tizzle Law. I think we'll see him back, though. Uh, they, they've got more to prove now since he's lost this Kentucky Derby as far as uh, uh, his breeding ability. So he comes to uh, Louisville and uh, gets beat. Authentic's the winner. Johnny Velasquez, another Derby win. Uh, Bob Baffert, another Derby win.